Hi there, Sandy Freshy here back with another video and I've got a dog over here chasing flies and a cat over here wanting to know, wanting you to know that he loves me too. <laughs> so he may walk across the screen. This is supposed to be a quick video and it's in response to uh, a general question that I've been getting from generators and manifesting generators. I've been working with uh, generator clients who have uh, small children and I've been getting questions from generator and manifesting generators who have loved ones who uh, basically want to know how they can help their projector loved one get the downtime and the relaxation time that they need to rejuvenate themselves. And the answer is very quick, very simple, maybe not very easy since you do love these people. But I'm going to gently suggest to you, generators and manifesting generators, if you have projectors in your life that you really want to support in staying healthy and staying vibrant, allow them a lot of time alone. And basically what that means is you need to get out of their auric field on a regular basis so that they can discharge the sacral energy that you're radiating out and that they're absorbing and taking on. Now, it's not always easy for a projector to know when enough is enough, so uh, projectors tend to overwork, they tend to overdo, especially when they're around that defined sacral energy and they feel like that they have that energy to work. And then, of course, if they are uh, really loving what they're engaged in, then there's no there's no uh, stoplight there for, for them to stop. You, as a generator or manifesting generator, know when enough is enough. And I actually rely on my generator husband a lot to say, hey, isn't it your bedtime? Or hey, it's time to wind down. Um, because he knows when to stop and take a nap. He knows when to stop and do things. And I'm sure that you do as well. And you can offer those gentle reminders, but the most therapeutic thing you can do for your projector or even your manifester and uh, reflector loved ones, the non-sacral beings in your life, is to get out of their aura and allow them to be alone for a while. And I'm going to leave it at that. There are lots of nuances to that. Uh, I do want to remind you that I do um, parent-child readings, I do mentoring, I do couples readings, and if you want more specific guidance on this or you want to take a look at your relationship with your projector or your non-sacral loved one, I would be more than happy to do that. I will post my uh, email down below so that you can contact me directly. I don't know that I have uh, the specifics where you can just sign up for that on my website because I really need to know how far along you are on your journey in order to tailor uh, a reading or a mentoring program for you that would be perfect for what you need. So that's it for now. Take good care of your projector and your non-sacral being loved ones, generators and manifesting generators. And remember, you are the one in the room who knows when to stop, when to take a rest, and when en enough is enough. And if you add this little piece of removing yourself from their energy field, maybe with a gentle reminder to them that it is a good time to relax and stop and rest, um, you will give them what they need in order to stay resilient, in order to discharge energy, and, or, and in order to rejuvenate themselves. So that's it. Until the next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel. And uh, click the little button if you want notifications, the little bell. And of course, if you uh, know someone who can benefit from this video, please, please, please share it with them. So until the next time, be well.